Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you are doing great today. This is Said Hassan from Bixban. Welcome to part 2 of how we created this visual. So, and without further ado, let's get started. Let's double click on the empty areas next to the layer, first layer, the center shape and let's add a drop shadow. Let's hit the first drop shadow. Okay, let's choose the darker one, make it a little bit darker and desaturate it. Hit OK and let's move it to the left because the light source is coming from the right. We want to match this a bit in the visual. Okay, I think this is good. You can copy paste those uh, attributes here. Okay, and let's hit okay. Let's do this the same to the second one. Okay, double click in the empty area, drop shadow, and let's increase the distance a bit and increase the size a bit to add some filters to the shadows. Hit okay to confirm. Go to the third one, do the same, move it move it a bit okay and let's increase the size I think this is good okay guys let's hit okay to confirm the third step and make it the shapes a little bit dynamic let's choose the first one again let's go to file noise add noise we are going to uh, encounter this message let's convert to smart object and let's make the noise maybe a little bit like five i think five is good let's hit okay to confirm okay guys let's choose the second shape now instead of going to filter noise add noise each time we have a shortcut here add noise for the last used filter alt Control plus f let's do it Alt Control plus F it added the noise the third one okay Alt Control plus F and the fourth one Alt Control plus F I think it is looking a little bit better than the the solid colors shape without any gradients or without any noise okay guys and i just want to say thank you guys for all the support but if you are new here this channel is dedicated to junior and midway designers who are looking to level up their skill set and learn new professional techniques so make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the new content we don't need the color palette layer let's remove it from here okay next step will be adding some effects and blending the shapes a little bit together first of all let's go to the first layer go to file place embedded okay guys let's choose the first lens flare make it bigger move it to the side change the blending mode to screen yes move it like this and let's hit enter to confirm okay Let's see before and after yes it gave this halo effect on the clouds okay now let's create empty layer before the brush tool right click to open the brush panel to the lens flare i will attach the the brushes we are going to use this one okay let's make it a little bit smaller to be inside the frame make sure the opacity is 100 percent let's choose a color maybe a little bit to the orange side a little bit more saturated hit ok to confirm press once change the blending mode to screen hit ok to confirm Control plus t to transform and rotate it and position it however you want you can make it a little bit bigger or smaller let's see before and after yes much 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 better let's create new empty layer again before the brush tool let's cho choose another lens flare make it a little bit smaller hit once change the blending mode to screen control 
control plus T to transform or rotate and let's position this uh, let's position this layer to have some interaction with the heart shapes right here okay to have some lens of rail above the shapes I think this is good let's hit enter to confirm let's see before and after yes I think much much better okay I think we are going the right direction but this right side of the area should have a little bit more light uh, to contrast the darker side at the left let's create new empty layer before the brush tool let's choose the regular soft brush okay and let's make sure we have the same color orange color maybe a little bit lighter hit ok to transform make sure the opacity is 20 percent okay now we had three strokes or something change the blending mode to screen or we can try color dodge let's see before and after maybe screen is better okay yes maybe let's reduce the opacity of it yes let's see before all the flares yes one two three four yes i guess we are going in the right direction in the next steps guys we are going to populate our scene with some elements to enhance our composition and take it to the next level now guys let's add some elements and effects to make the visual a little bit more dynamic let's go to file place embedded let's choose the button here okay let's make it a little bit smaller here is a good place i think it enter to confirm and what's important to move it behind all the flare layers to have it some interaction with the flare and sun okay let's hold alt Control and click to uh, to duplicate Control plus T to transform right click flip horizontal move it to the left hold alt to scale it from the center and move it like here to make it as it is closer to the camera we want to add some blur or motion blur to it let's see go to filter blur motion blur yes i think i think the direction is good and i think distance also is good let's hit enter but i think it is a little bit lighter uh, against the background so let's make it darker choose the layer hold ctrl plus l to open the levels panel and drag this slider from to to the left yes i think this is perfect let's see before and after yes much 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 better let's add some other elements like this love or heart shaped balloon here make it like this okay can we change its color a bit yes let's rename it balloon okay let's choose the layer hold ctrl plus u to open the hue saturation panel check colorize option yes let's increase the saturation a bit okay i think we're going the right direction colors plays an important role in your visual so try not to deviate so much out of the color palette you established in the beginning because it will make your visual more chaotic and less elegant hit enter to confirm let's see before and after yes it is matching a little bit the color scene we are using okay click hold alt click and the drag yes and maybe a little bit bigger or maybe a little bit even smaller i think maybe smaller okay and let's reduce its opacity a bit to blend it as it is far in the background yes i think this is much much better okay again go to file place embedded let's get this flying birds make it a little bit smaller move it to the side here okay we want to reduce its opacity to blend it with the background yes i think this is looking very nice okay i think this is good for now okay now we can add 
some shadows on the clouds generated from the hearts from the sun okay let's go to the folder we made for the hearts yes okay let's create new empty layer below the this group okay let's hit L to make the uh, polygon and lasso tool okay let's start from here maybe to there yes I think okay outside of the frame and let's here here okay I think this is good let's choose a hold I to get the eyedropper tool choose the color of the shadow maybe a little bit darker a little bit desaturated hit ok to confirm ok we have the new empty layer hold alt and backspace to fill the selection with the new color ctrl plus d to deselect now if we want to blend this area a bit how we can do this first of all we need to add some motion blur to the shadows go to filter blur motion blur yes i think the angle is good and the amount is distance is 45 is good let's hit ok ok let's change the multi the blending mode to multiply and i just want to say thank you guys for all the support but if you are new here this channel is dedicated to junior and midway designers who are looking to level up their skill set and learn new professional techniques so make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the new content yes double click on the uh, empty area next to the layer we have this blending f section okay guys the underlying layer this slide let's move it yes i think we're going the right direction but the transition is so harsh so let's split this slider how we can do this by holding alt click and drag okay yes i think we're going the right direction let's hit okay to confirm okay this area is somehow good but this area is not how we can fix this let's add a layer mask g for the gradient tool make sure it is black and white go from here to here yes i think it is good okay again it's not perfect so we are going to continue working on it b for the brush tool make the brush smaller by holding alt and right mouse button make it smaller 20 percent in the opacity make sure the uh, the color you are using is black color and let's start finishing the area delete this or mask this area yes okay yes okay i think the the sides the the darker cries should be in the middle and the outer sides should be a little bit softer okay so let's go back a bit make the brush a little bit bigger and let's okay remove from the layer yes i think this area needs a bit more work okay yes okay let's see before and after yes i think much much better so it added a sense of realism to it okay now guys uh what is the next step let's go up in the layer panel choose the first layer and let's import another some effects go to file place embedded okay uh, let's uh, add some clouds okay one here let's make it a little bit smaller and move it to the side maybe here and but let's move it behind the heart shape group okay and let's duplicate this one move it maybe here but move it above the hearts yes i think this is much better and we added some dynamism to the visual overall let's add some effects okay move to the top layer go to file place embedded okay and let's add some sparks okay move it to the top change the blending mode to screen 
yes hit enter to confirm let's add another one all of this will be linked in the description again guys change the blending mode to screen yes i think much much better maybe a little bit on the opacity yes okay now let's remove all the effects layers and check before and after yes much 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 better it is making the visual more professional more finished look last step will be adjusting the highlights and shadows and adding some uh, color grading let's choose the top layer okay let's hold Control plus shift plus alt plus e uh, to merge all the visible layer in one new layer let's convert it to smart object right click convert to smart object and let's hit control plus shift plus a to open the camera row filter okay we can understand the visual a bit from the histogram here we need to have some some shadows and increase the blacks a little bit okay maybe increase the texture a bit a little bit on the clarity let's reduce the dehaze increase the vibrance reduce the saturation a bit go to the color grading section we need to the highlights to be in the orange side and the shadows to be in the black to have some uh, orange and the teal look okay and maybe go to the effects panel add some grains maybe a little bit four and five and the vignetting a bit here and let's hit okay to confirm let's see before and after i think this is a little bit better if you don't like it you can reduce maybe a little bit to 50 percent and let's see yes you can choose the look whatever you want thank you guys for your time hope you liked the video tutorial please share what you think in the comment section below and if you want me to expand on a certain subject or make a separate video tutorial on it please let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for your time see you in the next tutorial